Hey everybody, um, I just saw the really great uh, demo uh, overview on how to add tracks inside of Drambo. And I just wanted to kind of touch on one thing um, that'll actually make it a little bit simpler. Um, so um, I'll link to the sound test room uh, video as well in the description here. Um, so what Doug kind of walked everyone through is how to add additional uh, uh, audio tracks. And so the steps that he went through is just adding a track. Um, and then he showed that you had to basically start you know, routing the audio uh, in order to get back your sends and to get back your uh, send um, in your master uh, for your audio routing so that it looked like uh, an addition, uh, the other ones in the view. Um, he showed you how to kind of you know, change the name of it. Um, and then when you actually go to the track, you still need to add a MIDI to CV um, so that it'll play properly. And what I wanted to highlight is that um, one of the steps that I think he kind of missed, which is an important one, is um, after you've created one of these uh, tracks, what you can do is save it as a preset. And you, you can see here that I've already saved it, um, but I'll show you the steps again. And so again, what you do is you tap the header, you bring this up, tap on the presets field, hit save. It's gonna automatically go to the tracks directory and then give it its name, and I'm just going to overwrite this. Um, and what's great about this is that anytime you want to add a new track, all you have to do is tap on this little hamburger glyph here and pick that preset track, and you just sit there and you know add additional ones. And what's great about this is that they come configured. MIDI CV is all there, so all you have to do is add your, um, you know, your instrument, um, and if you actually saved it with an instrument, that would show up as well. So depending on what your needs are, um, being able to save um, your presets um, as individual racks is super powerful. Um, so yeah, that's all I really wanted to highlight. Um, and from my perspective, um, one of the views that I like to have is like the main view because this gives me access to all my uh, channels at a glance. Uh, I can easily bring up my clips and I can also have my keyboard uh, present. Um, I don't really use this view anymore um, unless I want to see all my instruments in a single view and uh, that's primarily what I would use that for like if I wanted to be able to um, you know, manipulate my individual uh, tracks um, and also manipulate the audio levels on those particular tracks but um, nine times out of ten I'm usually you know bouncing between my individual tracks and then um, looking at main to adjust volumes and you know do mutes and, and solos and things like that. Okay, cool. So hopefully that helps. Um, big thing here again is just, you know, on any one of these, you can save it as a preset. So do that. And then that'll basically speed up your workflow. Hopefully that helps. And thanks, Doug, for that really great uh, overview video, as always. Take care, everyone.